สวัสดีครับ You're watching Thailand News Today, bringing you the latest updates on the nation's top stories. Stay tuned. A trailer truck has driven into an accident scene, crashing into nine vehicles and critically injuring a police officer who was diverting traffic in Suratani's main district. Luckily, rescue workers and another police officer were able to jump out of the way before the truck plowed through the accident scene and into a roadside tire shop. Two people are still being treated for minor injuries. Police officers were directing traffic around the accident scene, but the trailer truck drove through, crashing into seven motorcycles and two pickup trucks. A police officer directing traffic was rushed to the hospital with serious head injuries. A lottery vendor was also injured and sent to the hospital. The 26-year-old driver says he had a problem with the brakes. After several consecutive days without a local COVID-19 case, Chonburi Province, which also includes Pattaya, may be removed from the government's red zone for high-risk COVID areas. Once lockdown restrictions are eased, the coastal province is expected to have an influx of domestic tourists. The province has been under strict disease control measures and is classified as one of the five coastal provinces with the highest risk under maximum control to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Local businesses have been lobbying the government to loosen restrictions and allow non-essential businesses to reopen. Massage and spa workers gathered yesterday, calling on the governor to allow their businesses to reopen. Meanwhile, the president of the Thai Hotels Association Eastern Chapter also called for restrictions to be lifted, saying that most hotels have had to shut down due to the pandemic, and other businesses face serious liquidity problems. c h o n b u r i has gone five consecutive days without a new COVID-19 transmission. Rayong, c h a n t a b u r i and t r a t may also be removed from the restricted list. The CCSA will meet tomorrow and will look into changing the classifications from red to orange. 18 provinces in Thailand's north and northeastern regions are being hit by a wave of smoke and air pollution as the country's annual burning season kicks off. The next two months are the peak of the burning season for agricultural waste as farmers prepare their land for the next crops and use the fires to aid the harvest of some of their crops, like sugarcane. The levels of PM25 micron particulate, a measure of the smoke and haze, has been at unhealthy levels in Chiang Rai, p r a e s u h o t h a i p i t s a n u l o t a k p e c h a b u n p a y a o n a n c h i a n g m a i ลำปางขอนแก่นร้อยเอ็ดชัยภูมิอุบลราชธานีสระบุรีหนองคายนครพนม and นครราชสีมา The Pollution Control Department is now openly admitting that the major cause of the seasonal smoke around much of Thailand is from open burning by farmers who are preparing their land. The level of haze and smog in the affected provinces is categorized as unhealthy by the IQAir.com website. The firm's .modapps website, which is NASA's satellite fire tracking service, shows the number of fires currently alight around Thailand and the concentrations in the north and northeast of the country. Late-night diners rejoice as the government is considering lifting restrictions on dining and operating hours. Deputy Prime Minister and Public Health Minister a n u t i n Chan Wirakun has announced that they're likely to lift restrictions on dining, currently set at 9 p.m. by the end of this week. The Thai Restaurant Association has been lobbying hard for an extension of the opening times for in-restaurant dining times to at least 11 p.m. The CCSA will gather on Friday to assess the current COVID-19 situation and then decide if the extension is viable at this time. But the public health minister maintained that alcohol will still be prohibited, and other precautions like hand sanitizers at entry points and social distancing will still need to be strictly applied. 
Today is another day of high numbers of new COVID-19 infections with another 819 cases reported along with one death. There are now 4,335 active COVID-19 cases, but many of the patients remain asymptomatic and are taken to state quarantine for a 14-day stay. More than 700 of the new 819 cases were detected in tracking and tracing in Samutsakhon province. Most of the cases involve migrants, many whom work in the local seafood processing factories. The CCSA says the high numbers detected in the province were expected and will probably continue as the results come in from the proactive testing in the province. The CCSA says there is no need for anyone to be alarmed about the large numbers emerging from testing in the area. Meanwhile, a 55-year-old Thai man in Samut Sakhon also died in the past 24 hours as a result of his COVID-19 infection. And that's all for the news today, but there are plenty of informative and entertaining videos on the Tiger channel, so be sure to check them all out. As for now, you're up to date on the Tiger.